Well, I've been looking at all my past ducks and everything has a low head on it. Bruce, could, Bruce, could you step forward? There we go. This way? That's good. Okay. Um, so I decided to do a high head for a change. And um, I call this high head swimming redhead. So uh, but that just, uh, it's pine on the body and I think it's Tupelo on the head. And uh, it's painted in oils. And I just kind of wanted to do something to have a little fun with, you know. So kept uh, painting simple on it. Did texture vermiculations, but then take it to the second step, you know, where you put a lighter or darker color on top of the texture. So I just kind of kept it simple and actually had kind of fun with it. So. Is that all or solid? No, this is solid. It's not a working decoy. I mean, I didn't make it up that way. I did a, uh, a green wing tail drake. Um, it's made out of Tupelo. It's one piece of Tupelo. Um, and then painted it with acrylics and did the wood burning and texturing and stuff like that. So um, just a pattern that I made up a couple of years ago. Um, so I just finished that up just last week. divers there uh, spearing decoys I went to uh, used to go to a lot of uh, spearing decoy shows and I, I learned from the guys how to make uh, spearing decoys but I was always kind of the, the bird guy at the fish show so now I can do both at the same time <laughs> and they're made out of uh, well, either white pine or white cedar and uh, the legs and the wings are uh, aluminum and they're painted with acrylics seem to have the market locked up on shorebirds, so I decided to try my hand at one. Uh, I actually carved with Don at Game Fair, so this is one of my Game Fair birds. So, uh, Marbled Godwit, it's a cedar bird. The driftwood we found on Lake of the Woods, so I figured we'd sand it down and use that as the base. So, cedar bird painted in acrylics. size as uh, cacklers and a little short bill and the Richardsons are a lot lighter in color. I brought this in for a couple reasons. This was, uh, I think I talked about this once before, I don't have a big uh, band saw so I can't cut out a body, the, the side profile of a body that's this wide. This body is made from I uh, laminated red cedar uh, <coughs> four by four in the center and I just cut the center of that out to hollow it and two by fours on the side. <laughs> I laminated with <coughs> construction adhesive. Construction adhesive works great and it's so much cheaper than epoxy. Uh, I talked to uh, Dave Jacobs about this. He says he stakes his reputation on that glue. If it's good enough to 
to hold his garages together. It's good enough for me for, for decoys. And the other thing, uh, I got a new recipe for secret sauce. <laughs> and I used it on, on this one. And the reason it's shiny is because shiny sells on the internet. Uh, but I'm using uh, Minwax Polycrylic. And I put one part uh, burnt umber and two parts raw umber. You can darken it as much as you want. And I use a, a chip brush cut off to about yay long and just dip the corner in and then brush it out real well. It seems to get nice and smooth. I've always had trouble. I, I, I like to use a, a wash of raw umber or, or raw umber and burnt umber, but sometimes using that wash and dye, it just doesn't turn out good. And I've used this one on several birds now. And the Minwax comes in, uh, this is satin. They have a, a gloss and they have a flat that's really flat. And you can put on a lot of coats and I think you get a, a good sealed surface that way. And the, the cutting out die using the small bandsaw and laminating, I, something I've done quite a bit of. And if anybody would I'd like to see how that's done, I, I'd sure like to show you. Oh, and one other thing. Has anybody used the new Cutsall uh, Extra Coarse Rasp? I bought one. <coughs> it's wonderful. It doesn't clog up. It's, uh, Is that the black one? The, yeah, it's it's black, black guy, one. kind of long teeth. And uh, it's hell on your fingers if you, <laughs> if you bounce it. But uh, it... It really uh, leaves the surface pretty nice, and it's very aggressive huh. on your fingers. 